Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose, and this here is Douglas Maidenford, our resident Pennsylvania Dutchman v. Bishboot. Hey, all right, buddy. Where are we? We are in Penn's Cave. We no, are... we're not in Penn's Cave. We're around it. We're, okay. we're, we're around above it. it. We're above it. It's below us. I can feel it churning below oh the earth. Goodness. But we are here um, for the Nittany Antique Machinery show. We're in your tent. In my tent. So I make hats for the railroad and for all sorts of historical stuff. They know that. Well, I'm just telling okay. them why I have a tent though. Oh, okay. So I got my 1800 style tent and we're set up for this antique show and we're, uh, or not an antique show, but machinery show. And so we're here at the Penn State or Penn's Cave grounds getting ready for uh and you let me slip in your tent i let you slip into the tent i slipped in the back door of the tent right in the back door i did anyway hey last video we did you remember about eating corn on the cob and you were oh, yeah. listen we had so many comments in that did and, we? I didn't and get, get to I, look that. i hate to say this but every almost everybody agreed with chris's take on it really oh yeah oh i thought they would thanks guys that's yeah. what means a lot uh-huh uh -huh. How do you feel, Doug? There were even some people that said they cut theirs off too, like you do. I know, they're smart folks. They must have been Boy Scouts, Doug. I guess that's what it was. Anyway, we got another food related question for you, and I got it you on my phone. No, I cut it on my phone here. I wanted here. to make sure you're not crying. Listen, on listen to this one. This one I you are the <laughs> you are the great philosopher, apparently, now of the two of us. So oh, yeah. let's, I, see I what, let's see what you have to say. Let's see what you have to say now. How about one of those hospital guns that's in the open in the back instead of open in the front? That'll work. Anyway, That'll work. all right. This comes from Chuck in cyberspace. Chuck in cyberspace. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh. Whoa. Now, we Pennsylvania Dutch, we eat a lot of sausage and hot dogs for sure. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know because you can eat a lot of hot dogs without the bun, so... Yeah, but I th okay. Oh, does it have to be in a bun to be considered a hot dog? Because if you cut it up and put it in the sauerkraut, well, you know, it can't be a sandwich then. That's true. Should we be calling it something different if it's in the bun? No, no, because no, they have that... open-faced sandwiches. Oh my God. So I'm going to call a hot dog on a bun an open-faced sandwich. So if it's on a roll, you're saying, yes, that's a sandwich. Yeah. Can you? I don't know if I agree. But I don't know why I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> Had a habit. Maybe. I don't know. What is, like, is there any? If you got a sausage, well, I'll tell you what. You go to the fair. You get a they sausage, say sausage sandwich. sandwich. There we but go. But they don't say hot dog sandwich. No, they don't. I've never seen it advertised that way. But I think because they say, well, there's a, a stand over there that says sausage sandwiches. Yeah, but like you said, you would never say, hey, I need a hot. I'd like a hot dog sandwich. Well, maybe, but they do say I'd like a sausage sandwich. Why don't you go over there and say I'd like a hot dog sandwich and see what open. they give They're you. They're not open. And if they give you a hot dog, you know you can call them a hot dog sandwich. I don't know. I think there's another one we have to ask the people out there for their opinion yeah. on this. Is there anything else you could think of that we would say might be a sandwich, but it also might not be a sandwich? Mm. Well, I'm putting you on the spot, buddy. Oh, gosh. When I was growing up, uh, the one co the one community picnic we used to go to served a delicacy among the Pennsylvania Dutch, and that was waffles and ice cream, where they would take a slab Absolutely of ice cream, warm two waffles, waffle, ice cream, waffle. Is that a sandwich? I think, yeah. I think a sandwich could be anything, whether it's edible or not. Because you Give say, me an example. Sandwich, time out. I mean, got a sandwich this box in between two Yeah, railroad but that's a lines. verb. That's not a non. That's It still counts, though, huh? No. I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, I think a sandwich doesn't have to be edible. I'm, I'm locking that, that answer in. So what have we learned? But, to then, do? but then, but then that ruins my hot dog theory because you, you don't have two buns. Yeah, but well, you're a bun is it in. Okay, yeah, so hot dogs are still sandwiches. I'm back to where I started. We're staying. Is a hamburger a sandwich? Yep. Okay. Hamburger sandwich. Well, that sounds yeah, but, silly. Yeah. So is a hot dog sandwich sound silly? <laughs> Maybe it's implied. I I'll bet you if we throw this out to the greater community, they're gonna they're gonna agree with Chris again. I hope and so. And say a hot dog's a sandwich. I I agree with you, but I don't. You know, if I'm saying. But you don't want. Well, here's the reason. <laughs> here's the other reason. I think I I, I have trouble joining you 100. If I go to somebody's house and they say, Hey, we're having soup and sandwiches for lunch, 
I would never think that hot dogs are going to be on the menu. I would think when I hear sandwich, I have a certain picture in my mind. Well, it's not their fault you've been living a lie your whole life. Uh, just in regards to sandwiches? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I learned something about myself, not too. <laughs> they opened your eyes. Once again, people, you come for advice and information, and we give it to you. We don't even think about it. Yeah? No, I don't Maybe think about anything. We don't answer. think about anything, do we? He just shows up with cameras and stuff. I just say, hey, I knocked on the tent door, the, t the tent flap, and the flap was thrown open. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> yeah. He said, come on in. Oh. Look at that. All right, there you go. Hot dog sandwich, people. Well, Mark I'm it down. Hungry now. I'm Mark it down. Hot dog sandwich. All right. Okay, let us know in the comment section down below. Sandwich, no sandwich. Are we, a, are we full of fooey? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Uh, eat your corn on a cob too. It's it's hot dog season. It's summer. It is. Everybody's yeah. gonna be eating hot dogs. I hot want you dog to. Sandwiches. Anytime you go now to the ballpark or wherever and you order a hot dog, we want you to say, "I'll take a hot dog sandwich, please," and just see the reaction people. Yeah, that's a them. good social experiment. It is a social experiment. If you get any sideways glances or something. Oh, you know you will. Why well, I'll take a hot dog sandwich once. There you go. You got it, people. You heard it from us. Take us out of here. All right. Well, you heard it from the Dutchman. If you have any other thoughts, questions, wonders, musings, or anything, feel free to email us at info, info at padutch101.com. padutch101.com. See, he changed it on me and never told me, so I'm still using the 10-year-old okay. email address. That's okay. Do you still have that I one? do. It, yeah, stuff will get sent there. Okay. All, All, right. Right. All right, until next time. Hey, Mox Good. If you have a question, why you have to email us at info at padutch101.com.